Hey, Ed Ballou here. I'm back at McCann Farm. This is the site of our Pondemonium 2014 Advanced CAC build. Things have changed a ton. It's been about five weeks now since we were here and everything looks spectacular. So what I want to do is I want to go through everything step by step so you can see firsthand how everything's been functioning for the first five weeks. This is the heart of the entire system. This is where our pumps are located. So this is the workhorse that's making this entire system function. What we have here is we have all of our aqua blocks down below. We also have our pump vaults uh, here. You can see them still kind of visible. We have those big concrete columns over in the front. Then we have that wooden weir that we put in place. What that's doing is it's setting the water level right where we need it to create the desired skimming effect. Look at the surface of that pond. All of that duckweed that was on the surface got sucked right into this intake bay and this is just doing a great job of keeping the surface clear for us. So all of this debris, I mean just look at all this stuff that's getting sucked into our skimmer. This is just like one of our smaller ponds, just on a grand scale. The importance of this stuff is we want to catch it now. If we don't catch it here, it's going to fall to the bottom of the pond, it's going to start to decay, it's going to release nutrients into the water which causes algae problems and water quality issues. So here we're at the wetland filter. This is what's breaking down all the, nitro all the nitrogen and nutrients that are inside of this system. What we have is our aqua block system. The water's flowing up through the layer of aqua blocks, going through all the layers of gravel. Then we have all of our aquatic plants that were put in. These aquatic plants have not become established yet, so we're waiting for all those roots to go down inside the gravel bed to become established. They're gonna filter better and better and better as time goes on. So the high biological activity inside of this system is sucking the dissolved oxygen out of the water. So what we wanna do, very simple, a waterfall on the other end. It doesn't get any more basic than that. It's gonna reoxygenate the water. It's also gonna help with the circulation of this pond. I'm at the far western edge of the pond. Uh, this is where our jets are located. What we have is we have a piping system running along the perimeter. We have a series of jets every 20 feet. What we're doing is we're trying to push all of that debris over to our skimmer system on the far eastern edge of the pond. Just like our small ponds, all about circulation. We had a big dead spot over here. This is where all of that duckweed was accumulating. So what we're doing, having these blasts of water, just pushing everything to that far other end where it can get sucked into our skimmer. Waterfall is complete and it looks awesome. Everybody's just totally blown away by this waterfall. All the different angles being highlighted. When this thing is lit up, it even looks that much better. I mean, everybody came together for this waterfall, had a blast doing it, setting all these big rocks, creating this giant waterfall behind us, uh, with just an incredible experience for everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this project showcase. We'll see you next time.